we've got the homepage styled how we want it, we have to actually make an exact copy of it. The reason we're going to do this is we're adding in a membership site and we want to be sure that we can link directly to our logged in members. So the easiest way is to come over to your pages. And as we've seen before, I have this member only home. So come up to your home screen, click the little gear icon and go ahead and hit the duplicate this page. Be sure that when you hit this, you're renaming your slug to members and you can call this whatever seems relevant to you but make sure that slug says members and then go ahead and hit create i'm not going to because i already have it when you do that you're going to get an exact replica of your current home page but we're going to set it up to look like this once we have this all styled and everything is looking the way we want it, we'll go over to JetBoost so that we can turn on all of these nice uh, search features and tags and drop downs. So our filtering and searching is working as well as implement the JetBoost functionality for the upvoting system. Let's work at getting this styled. I'm going to talk about this form in a second, but I want to get to our voting and get that all working before we move on to the forms. Your screen looks something like this. You're in the members only page and you come container. So yours will say vote container. That's where we're going to start to turn this into the upvote system. So I have renamed this. We're going to have to walk through JetBoost to be sure we get the correct classes and get everything set up. For now, you can leave vote container, say vote container, and then you want to duplicate upvote. So just command C and command V and you'll get a duplicate. From here, we're gonna add in, so we're gonna add in a little uh, link block. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go ahead and add in a link block, this link block to say upvote. So we're gonna add a, It's going to take on the same class that is already here. That is fine. From here, we need to do the same thing below. So I've repeated the same process below. And for this link block, we're going to call it voted. Okay. And I don't really need the little counter when I voted because I already voted, so I should just see the number, the new number that I've gotten. Now we're starting to get somewhere. These containers aren't really helpful in our naming convention, and Webflow and JetBoost does a great job of giving you options to make this a bit more specific. As you can see, I've gone ahead and renamed it to item is not favorite, and then we have our upvote, the image, and the vote count, and then we have item is favorite upvote and vote count. This is important when we're linking JetBoost into this field. So we want to set up our structure first. It's going to help us when we add in our tags. It might not make a lot of sense right now, but I promise I'll walk you through it. So if we just quickly go back over this, because this is very important for us to set up the voting structure correctly, we've started and renamed our vote container. From there, I renamed the first box that said voted I apologize, said upvote to item is not favorite, added in a link block that then contains the image and vote count. And right below it, we have renamed the same block to item is favorite, added in upvote and the vote count. The naming of these links is not nearly as important as the uh, naming of the div blocks uh, above them. And that'll be just a little bit more helpful when it comes to visualization. So as you can see, I have the item is favorite is going to be in a hidden state and will appear when you actually quote unquote vote. So that's why it is styled this way, but feel free to style it however you feel fit. The most important thing is that we're setting up this structure so that everything is aligned. So I've gone ahead and set it to be flex, vertical, and everything in the center. And that way everything underneath lines up so you don't have any kind of odd looking spacing. When you're done, don't forget to go back to item is favorite and hide that. Now that we've taken care of our format here, we're going to do a little bit of additional formatting for our columns. 
and build out this form. Let's tackle that next. Mm -hmm. 